Tour, and today I have some really, really cute, fun little printables all laid out here for you, and I wanted to show them to you and kind of walk you through these different sets and some ideas to use them. These are printables that are available in my Etsy shop, so there is a link down below in the description to my Etsy shop, or you can go on um, Etsy and search for Shop Southern Couture, all one word. And it will, it should bring it up as well. But there's a link down below to make it easier. And these printables are actually designed for the newest By the Well for God devotional kit that just went on pre sale this week and will be, um, you know, shipping very soon. And that kit is called Adorned. So it's talking about how God loves to lavish things on us. Um, there's a lot of references in the scripture to jewels and crowns and things like that. And so that is what this kit is focusing on um, for this devotional. And so this whole collection you see here and more. There are lots more in the shop. Um, that whole collection is called Jewels and Crowns. So um, that hopefully that will you know make it easier for you when you go over to the shop. You can just search for Jewels and Crowns if you want once you're inside my shop, and it should pull up um, all of the printables that are available. Um, so what I really love though, I was designing these and printing some out. And I was amazed at the color schemes and how well these colors are going to coordinate with lots of other projects and fun things that I um, am working on right now. And it's really crazy how that always seems to work out. Um, so like right now, we're in the middle of the 100 Days um, Less Hustle More Jesus devotional journal, if you're working through that. Um, and these, some of these colors are going to go great. Um, you know, you kind of have to... A look at them and pick your devotionals in different days and that kind of thing but this pale blue works these two blue are pale blue pale pink sorry these two blues I'll show you more detail up close those blues are perfect matches to like the blues that are on the cover of that book that are used throughout the book a ton um, the green I don't see as much but you could definitely use that um, you know just for any kind of journaling note taking in a planner um, so what's really cool oh and then the mustard yellow it's also a big one in there and even this pinky peach color um, so what's really fun is that um, you could just print them as many times as you want use them for the by the will for God kit and I'll leave a link to that kit as well in my um, description and then use them for the 100 day book or however you so choose and that's what I love about these is because um, all of them are elements you could use over and over in different places for whatever if you do sermon note taking um, you know things like that they're great for that so let's go ahead and we'll jump in one of the um, first things we'll talk about are these little sticky note cards. So I have a, another video that talks all about printing tips, techniques, my printer, my paper that I like to use, um, all of that. And that is in um, the description. I'll leave a link to that video and blog post. But um, what I've done is printed them two to the page. I go into more detail on that over there. You really just have to look at your own printer, your own settings on your laptop, computer, whatever you're printing from, because they're all gonna vary. Every printer may be different as well. And so what I have to do is mine it says print multiple sheets per page and then what it does is it won't put double like it won't put this one this is one design okay it won't print it double it just prints it on half the page so yours may say print it at 50 percent or i you know two to a page i don't know how yours will do it and then what i do is just print another design on the other side i'm very careful to watch and make sure like how it's coming out of the printer how i need to put it flip it to put it back in that exact way so my designs don't get printed on um top of each other okay Okay, um, so these are the little note cards that are in the shop. This one is the um, lined and blank. These are just the sticky notes, um, jewels and crowns. Remember, that's the collection. And then this is the Polaroid note cards. Um, you all know I've said this before, and um, I try to have good lighting, but sometimes these colors just aren't always showing up as true as I would like for them to. Um, so I do apologize, but when you go to the shop, you'll see them in their true color, you know, maybe much better than you do here. So this is um, the Polaroid note card page, and this one, you get um, a page of each of these. Now, like I said, I've halved them, so when you get them, um, you're going to have them where like these six cards would be on a full spread. I usually print these at full size. I don't usually have them, but this time I had, had never halved the Polaroids, and I don't think I've ever halved the note cards either, and I just thought that would be something fun and different to try. Um, sometimes I like having little mini note cards, or if you're working like in a... Um, 
uh, Traveler's Notebook, which is the style of the By the Well for God devotional booklets. Sometimes it's nice just to have something a little bit smaller to fit in there if you don't want a full-size card. The full-size ones fit too, um, but I like the mini size. I think it's cute. So you're going to get um, two pages in this set, and you'll have your little Polaroid note cards. It has little titles on each of these little note cards. These are um, like, you know, white with some lined space for notes. And then you'll also get this set here. There's no titles on it, so it'd be really fun to maybe use some alpha stickers or um, put your own little title, stamp a title on there, and then it has some collage art background just to add a little fun, you know, something or another. And this could be a good background piece to layer things on top because of that collage art. And then this one would be good for actual note taking as well. You could on this one just be a little bit different. Um, and then, like I said, same kind of thing. These are a full size when you print it, and this is the lined and then the blank. Um, I love these. These little flowers I just think are adorable, and they have the different colors that come in that kit. This kit uh, adorned has lots and lots and lots of colors, I noticed. Um, we're not just sticking to three colors. It had tons of colors, and so I had a lot of fun with that. I love colors anyways. Um, so here is the speech bubble page. I did print it at full size. And what I did with this set and the note card sets, I toned the colors down a little bit so that they aren't so dark that if you wanted to write on top of it, that you couldn't see through it uh, or you couldn't see your writing. And so you may notice that like this purple here, when you go look at it in the shop, is a lot more of a deeper vibrant purple than what you might see here in this speech bubble. And the reason I did that and the same with this kind of wine color, um, the wine color, it may still be a little too dark. I didn't really like the way it looked more pale. Um, but like I said, these are good for layering. If you get a really dark color, what I have found is good to do is take like your coordinating color of the grid block here and cut it and then you can just layer them on top and use that for like a background. Um, so that's fun to do if you feel like you're not going to be able to see your writing over it because it's so dark. Um, and then you have all the other little colors. Most of them are light enough that you could write on them and still see. So I think these are so fun to use um, for any kind of journaling in a planner to make a little note or a doctor's appointment or something that you want to remember or if you're doing like little mini entries. I love using these for the mini entries in my journaling Bible as I work through 100 days because I work in the journal and then I also do the mini entry in my Bible. And um, if you have a standard Bible with no margin space or very little margin space, these are good for that too as well as these grid blocks. Um, the Bible I'm thinking about right now with that would be the Encourage uh, devotional Bible. I've shared a lot about it because y'all know I really love that Bible. And these are great for that Bible because they're just smaller and they fit great. So these are the speech bubbles. And then we move over, we have the grid blocks. These are my new favorite design. I talk about them all the time, but I just am in love with them because they're so versatile like all these other note cards. And so I wanted to have them in all of the colors, um, you got eight different colors here, and, and then you get four of each color. Print them as many times as you want. These are really fun to put in the traveler's notebook on each devotional, and then like have a note. I like to put a note for each week of what God really spoke to me or what my biggest takeaway was from that week. So when I go back through, I like to go back through and review my devotionals. I can look and see without reading the entire thing and having to skim it what my little you know note was from that. So that's a fun thing to do. Hopefully you can see the colors maybe a little bit better this is more of um a it's not showing up quite as blue as it really is and then you have this page over here so lots and lots of color options with this kit and then you get these two sheets in that set um also you um you see how these have like the collage arts on here you're going to get some collage arts um designs those are also in the shop two pages of collage arts in that set there's also the art elements there is the brush stroke highlighters, which I feel like are underrated because if you print those on clear sticker paper, they are phenomenal for highlighting over scripture. That's what I use them for. I love that it has a little bit of color and design, but it really makes a scripture pop when you lay it down. And also, another one you can use for that is the washi strips, and that comes in the patterned paper bundle. So I know I'm throwing out a lot of you know titles and things, but I just want to kind of give you a better idea of what you'll find in the shop and some ideas for using those. Um, and then there's also, um, there was another set. What was it? Um, oh, it's just left me. 
there's like nine different sets total, okay? So make sure these aren't the only ones, but the reason I printed these, because these are the ones that are the most versatile. I wanted it to be so if you are working through 100 days and you haven't grabbed the By the Well for God kit yet, you could go ahead and start using these while you're waiting on the kit because they do coordinate really well. All these bright pops of color are just so fun. Um, but I do have a video down below. I'll leave a description, or in the description. And that video was when I was um, working through the, I believe it was called, um, it wasn't called Intimate Prayers. That's what I called my Etsy collection, I believe, um, for that kit. But it was the um, Abba Father. That's what it was. It was the Abba Father devotional kit from By the Will for God. And I had my traveler's notebook, and I showed y'all how I used different printables. And not just these. I used, like, the... Um, washi strips and uh, page starters and other things like that and I used those to go through and um, add embellishments to each devotional week and um, I had it all set up so when I wanted to start working through it it was all done um, that's the key for me is I make sure I have all my printables printed before I start the kit I like to go ahead and have them you know somewhat cut down or trimmed it doesn't have to be perfect if I don't have time and then I go through and embellish my notebook before I even get started with you know like maybe cut out some of these so I have a place to write notes and the note cards and just have the, that um, you know basic element down and then I can add to it if I want to with different you know little ephemera pieces stamps things like that that come in the kit washi tape um, as I go if I want to so there are some of the new designs guys that are just released in my Etsy shop this whole collection again is jewels and crowns um, but I wanted to just hop on here show it to you a little bit I had a really, really great suggestion. Um, I won't call this person out, but somebody that watches my videos um, had messaged me on Instagram with the sweetest message. They took so much time to write this long message to me. And then another message they sent at the end, it said, just a fun suggestion for videos. They felt like um, I should not be maybe shy away from promoting my printables in my shop because they felt like they are just so helpful for them and for others. And I don't like to just always self-promote at all um, because it's not about that for me. It's really, truly, sincerely about getting tools in y'all's hands um, to help you. And so this person said that, you know, they felt that 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 was my heart and so they felt like why not show them more because it's actually going to get a tool into others hands um, not just to promote myself and one thing they said was that when I'm doing a video maybe have some of the printables full sheets printed out so that I could show them and not have to reference them so much as maybe I'm flipping through a devotional booklet or my entries and then show them at the end and so um, I just want to say thank you to that person for your nice little suggestion and comment you know who you are and hopefully I'll be able to um, um, show them a little bit more in a full page spread. Sometimes it is um, harder because if I've already used them in entries, um, I don't have them printed and I could reprint them. Um, you know, that's a possibility. I don't like to reprint everything, of course, and be wasteful with paper and ink um, if I don't feel like I'm going to use them right away. Uh, so just a thought, but um, I just wanted to say thank you for that, and I hope that this is helpful. If you find it helpful for me to show them like this, let me know down in the comments below. I like to try to change things up, you know, to what makes it easier for you guys as well. So anyways, I hope you'll have a wonderful day, and don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell icon um, so you get notifications when another video is live, and I will be back again very, very soon. Don't forget to check out By the Well for God and their new kit. Um, the link is in the description and the printables. Have a great day. Bye-bye.